flabbergasted that the, the process isn't processing. Let's get on to it. Fucking we we fucking lose now. Wallahi, I'm sick and tired of seeing Eddie and Jesus of my strikers. I can't handle it anymore. How we side Kai Haver for 65 million pounds? Someone please tell me one good thing he did today. Please. We've got Bakayo Sanya on the right wing and we've got Gab Martin on the left wing. These two this season, they thought, we get, we've got 15 goals last season each, yeah? We are smashing last season. This season, we're going to play the same way. Teams are going to open up against us. Now, nah, mate, team know how you play now and they're defending you so easily. I apologise for calling mine Odegaard world class. This guy is an average player. When the team plays well, he plays well. But all this Cruyffton, he's weak. He can't run. He can't pass anymore. He can't shoot. He can't take free kicks. He can't take corners. He can't do nothing. I also want to apologise to Liverpool fans. I'm so sorry for comparing Virgil van Dijk to William Saliba. I will never do that ever again. Van Dijk's been doing it for eight years, okay? Saliba had one good season. This season, he had a good start, but now he's getting cooked. He got cooked by West Ham, and now he got cooked by Jimenez for Fulham, bro. We are just absolute useless. How do we go from trying to win the league and now we're fighting to stay fourth. Fourth! We left those days. They used to call it Arsenal fourth as a trophy. We left those days. And we're going back to it now. Well, I don't know, I don't know what to say anymore. You guys in the comments absolutely cook me. I deserve this cooking. I, I will cook you. And I will clip you. <laughs> you must be cooked. You know what I'm saying? You must be cooked. If there's, any, if there's, if there's any one Arsenal fan that deserves this, it's him. Right? Because I, very, I remember very vaguely last season. And we went out of the Europa League. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got the league to concentrate on. And then when we don't win the league, do you want the manager sacked? Nah, nah, we'll keep him for another year. We'll keep him for another year. We're, we're, not, uh, we're not that Arsenal who's happy with top four anymore. We're going for league titles. Uh, we've never gotten out of that phase of being Arsenal that's, you know, going for a league, uh, just happy with uh, getting top four. We are still that club now. I guarantee you, I guarantee you the Cronkies and Edu and everybody else is sitting there right now going, yeah, we could do with a striker, but do you reckon you could get top four with the current squad? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I can, mate. I think I can. Oh, well, yeah, just keep with the current squad then. As long as we're in the Champions League, we're happy. So, yeah, for fools like Duad, then... Dold, dold, it seems dold. Dold, dold, yeah, whatever his name is, yeah. For fools like hey, him. Hey, 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 Fuad's getting touchy, you know, that's his boy. <laughs> he gets... He's <laughs> that old guy. Nah, you know, you know his problem is, I'll be honest that's with you. the process. No, no, his problem is, he, he, he goes over the rule. I, I see one of his videos when he said, we're going to win the triple. <laughs> and then when you, when, you, when, when you believe that much, believe in yourself, you, you're hyping yourself up, you're only going to deflate it. And that's I, what's I happening to him. I don't. He was, he was asking. Uh, I think he was asking. I think it was was it Leo Northside for apologise for Cam Havertz. Just before so, you go, right? Just it is funny and big up to Arsenal Manic who made that comment. I saw that comment come through. Look, that, with though, I, I just personally, I'm, I'm just, I just don't get what he's talking. It just seems a little bit wild with his statements. I mean, I've been wild, but he doesn't watch the game with his eyes, so I, I guess he's doing this for entertainment. But look, Arsenal fans, look, on a level, I genuinely care about you guys and I want you guys to be competitive. If you guys don't sort it out, we could see another footballing heritage team become a bit of a laughing stock of the Prem. What am I saying? If you man don't fix up, Northside, Foad, Brandon, you man could be like United and Chelsea. Oh, come on, That's the truth. I can see you, man, falling off a cliff. So, if I were you, take some of the advice, send this to Arteta, because I know Arteta's got his own YouTube, send it to Amazon Prime, send it to whoever. There's been enough information here to sort out the Arsenal faithful. But any Arsenal fan thinking that you, man, can win the league, it's a madness. The one thing I will say, though, is that all this crying there, it's not a total disaster. You are two points off top <clears throat> so let's also put things into perspective what i will say the biggest shame of it all is that you man had the opportunity to give some distance some daylight between you and city that's what you should be crying about there's been no daylight which means city can literally pass you man in their next game that's where the biggest flop for me has been and you've allowed teams like villa to go past you and Last season, someone talked about Villa. 
being ahead of Arsenal, potentially finishing above Arsenal. <laughs> Hands up, no guesses and no money for who said that comment a season, a season early. Yeah, Man, a season yeah. early. Yeah. 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 That was like, Dej, Dej, that so was, I'm just saying, that was guys, two years ago, Dej. You can't no, was, that. It wasn't two years ago. It was last year. Yeah? So anyway, as for me, Tottenham. Well, Deji, be honest. Can I ask you guys a serious question, though? Sorry to go left. I just need... Because I need to know if you lot are legit before you wrap up. Barring the injuries, would you guys agree with me that Spurs are probably the best team in the league so far this season? Don't Not going to win the league, but who's been the best team in the league so far this season? But, what, from playing style or what? Just the whole shebang. You might, you might know... And if not for the injuries and the debacle at Chelsea game, we'd be top. But so don't, don't you think that's pointless out. praise, though? That, but that, that's pointless praise because that's like top gooners. I'll tell you why. That's like top gooners saying, oh, but we're top at Christmas. At the end of the day, the season doesn't end here. So it's pointless praise. Even if you want to agree that you've been the best so far, are you going to sustain this? Are you going to win the league? Because yeah. if not, it's all in vain. <laughs> what does it yeah. mean? Uh, you know, it's Tottenham title challenging between no. you three. No, no, no. How can is Arsenal uh, title challenging? No, no. Okay. No, I think, we're, I think we're both, I, I, we're both. I, 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 yo, my opinion. That's them too. My opinion is, I think. Well, I think Liverpool, Aston Villa, uh, Man City, Arsenal, Tottenham all in the title race. Thank you. That's my opinion. That's I agree. What, I, I think, think they are. Five, I, 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 I think it's a five-horse race. It's a no. five-horse race. Aston, 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 Aston Villa. Aston Villa, will fall, Aston Villa will fall off because they haven't got the squad. Tottenham they haven't got the, got the squad. They you're going to see, police. you're going to see, you're going to see again. I know Deji's going to point to the fact that he lost a lot of players. Uh, due we to have them. But when yeah. you, when you don't have Basuma and, and Saar in that midfield, who I've been quite impressed with Saar, to be fair, <laughs> when you don't have them two in the midfield because they're the African Cup of Nations, then we'll see what's going on for Tottenham, right? And I, I do think yeah. as well that at you times, I do think as well that at times, Postacoglu is quite naive, you know, with the whole high line thing. But but that's why I think Tottenham are only a top four team, and they're they're definitely in 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 the in the race for a top four spot. But I think we're only a top four team as well, and I think the only two teams that can win this league title is Liverpool and Manchester City. And again, I'm going to edge Man City purely and simply because. Liverpool going to lose Mo Salah to the African Cup of Nations. I know Deji's looking for a bit of praise for his team as well. So I'll say this, right? The <laughs> signing of the, respect on my club. the signing of the summer, the signing of the season so far for me has been Vicario. Simons. Vicario. Yeah. Vicario has been the signing of the season, I think. And and, and your doggy. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Vicario has been the signing of the summer, I think. Well, the keeper, the keeper. He's a, yeah, he's a top. Yeah, top. No, he's, Deji, he's a top Deji, Deji. Is he, is he, can we agree that he's better than Ramsdale and Raya now? Because that, 100%. That was 100%. Yeah. 100%. Deji, what does Deji? Is he, is he, can we agree that he's better than Ramsdale and Raya now? Because that, 100%. That was 100%. 100%. Yeah. Deji, what did I tell you about this keeper? No, you're right. You were right. I was wrong. I'm not going to I told you. I called him vicarious liability, but you were 100% right. I said to you, this What I will say is this, though. What Brandon failed to say and Fawad failed to say before my bro Northside finishes up. Tottenham players are coming back. That's what I have to say, baby. That's it. Ah, uh, cool. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. I like when you talk yourself into a situation like this. It's great. It's lovely. I remember, I remember all 